Hey guys, it's Aremia, and today we're trying to burn our opponent out of the game with Dark Magician. How can a control deck win on turn one? Well, I'll explain things as we go, so let's jump right into the games. Game one. All right, we have a few ways to draw some cards and we can get out of Dark Magician. So summon Magician's Rod, search Soul Servant. Soul Servant can place any card that mentions Dark Magician on top of the deck and then draw that card if you have a Dark Magician on field or in the graveyard. Next, we'll go ahead and activate Fusion Deployment, which lets us summon a Dark Magician by revealing a fusion that mentions him. And there he is. Now we can activate our Soul Servant, and what is that? Dark Eradicator Warlock. This is an old card from one of the first structure decks released back in 2006. Every time a normal spell is activated, he deals the opponent 1000 damage. And we contribute a Dark Magician to special summon him. Now you probably figured out the strategy we're going for here. We're playing a ton of normal spells that draw us cards, so we can hopefully chain together a bunch of spells while dealing our opponent damage with Dark Eradicator Warlock. So play Allure, draw some cards, Banish a Magician Souls, deal a thousand damage. And we might as well thin our deck a little bit. Activate Souls, summon another Dark Magician. Activate Allure, draw some cards, deal some more damage. Activate Spellbook of Knowledge, sacrificing our Rod, draw some cards, deal some more damage. Keeping the chain going, let's play Into the Void, draw a card, deal some damage. We are halfway there. Next, we can play Cup of Ace. If we win the coin toss, it turns into a Pot of Greed, but if we lose the coin toss, our opponent draws two cards instead. And... Tails. Unfortunate. Our opponent draws two, but our Warlock still deals a thousand damage. Well, we can activate Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. This card lets us banish a level seven monster to draw cards. Basically a worse version of Trade-In, but we can't be too picky with this deck. Draw two more cards, deal some damage, 2,000 life points left. Last Allure, draw some cards, deal a thousand. And now we can play Gold Moon Coin. By giving our opponent two cards, we can draw two more cards, but that doesn't really matter right now. Our Warlock is going to eradicate the opponent's life points, and we can score the win. Well, that was fun. On to game two. Game two. This time we have a pretty decent start, so we can play our Rod, grab a Soul Servant, play Soul Servant, put a Magician's Souls on top. It doesn't feel great to use one of our draw spells before getting the Warlock down, but we need to summon Dark Magician somehow. Play Into the Void, draw our Magician's Souls, play Magician's Souls to summon a Dark Magician from our deck. Now we can activate Soul Servant, which is a quick play spell, not a normal spell, so it will not trigger our Warlock. So we might as well activate it to draw a card now another Dark Magician. Well, it is a target for our Sacred Sword, so it's not terrible. But now we can tribute the Magician we have on board to summon Dark Eradicator Warlock, and we can finally get started. Play Sacred Sword, banish the Dark Magician in hand, deal some damage, and we draw a Cup of Ace and a Fusion Deployment. Well, we have to get heads here. Nice! Draw two cards, an Allure of Darkness, and a Tremendous Fire. This card deals 1,000 damage to the opponent and 500 damage to us, but with Eradicator Warlock in play, it actually deals 2,000 damage, which is a quarter of our opponent's health. Unfortunately, we have to play Allure and draw into a monster to keep the train going. Draw two Magician Souls. Well, it's not perfect, but we can keep playing, so banish the Magician Souls. Next, play Gold Moon Coin. Give our opponent the other Magician Souls and the Fusion Deployment. Draw a Warlock and another Fusion Deployment. Those aren't card draw spells, but we can still win here. Play the Fusion Deployment, summon another Dark Magician, and deal some damage, bringing them down to 3,000 life points. We can tribute this Dark Magician for a second Dark Eradicator Warlock, and play our Tremendous Fire, which will deal 1,000 damage, and each Warlock will also deal 1,000 damage to barely finish off our opponent. Now you're probably thinking, but Iremia, this strategy is way too inconsistent. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> I played around 25 games with the deck and we lost a few times. It certainly doesn't help that the entire strategy is stopped by an impermanence negating our warlock. So altogether we managed to win six games. 
uh, 24% win rate is bad. It's, it's real bad. But the deck is obviously just to have fun and see if we can jank out some wins with an old card. So let's go ahead and check out the last game. Game three. Well, our opponent goes first this time and plays a go, go, go golem and passes. Well, these games were played in gold rank. Sometimes we're stuck against top tier decks and other times we play against uh, less powerful strategies. But we don't have any warlocks or searchers in our hand, so let's see if we can even get off the ground this game. Activate Magician Souls, summon a Dark Magician. Play a Lord, draw some cards, banish our second souls. Well, Pot of Desires is a hard once per turn, meaning we can only actually play one of these, so play Desires, banish 10 and draw two more cards. Nice, there's a Soul Servant, so play it, stack the deck with a Warlock, and draw it by banishing the Soul Servant. Summon the Warlock, and we can finally get the train started. Let's test our luck with Cup of Ace. Tails. Uh, well, our opponent draws cards. Not great, but we do still get to deal damage. But we need to go again. Heads this time! Nice. Draw two cards, deal some damage. Play Fusion Deployment, summon another Dark Magician, thinning the deck and dealing another thousand damage. Play Into the Void, and wow, another Warlock. Don't mind if I do. Now, we could just win by playing the Instant Fusion and Card Destruction, since we deal 2,000 per spell right now. But we didn't really come here to win games, we came to be flashy. So, play the Instant Fusion and summon Time Wizard of Tomorrow. His effect destroys all monsters on the field, including our Warlocks, and flips a coin. If we get heads, he deals damage to our opponent equal to half the total attack of the monsters destroyed. But if we get tails, he deals us that damage. So here's your chance, opponent. Destroy our monsters, and... That's heads. Good game. Well played, opponent. Luck was in our favor this time. So what decks did we even manage to steal wins off of? A jank dinosaur deck, sure. Dark Magician Blue Eyes? Okay. Tenyi Sword Soul? Nice, that is definitely a hit. Well, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this different format because I have a ton of fun playing jank strategies like this. If you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button because you are not going to want to miss the next jank video. It is really sweet. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one.